Hello and welcome to another enthralling edition of Robert Drones On. Today I've been playing with my camera settings and some neutral density filters to see if we can make uh, my videos a bit better. I'm using this SJ Cam uh, SJ4000 and uh, up until now I've been using it completely automatically. One of the features of these cameras is that they have a fixed aperture, that's the hole that lets the light in. Uh, it can't change size like a fancier camera can. So in order to cope with differing light levels, it has to alter the shutter speed. So if you go out on a sunny day like it's been today, you end up with a very fast shutter speed and that can give you a picture which uh, introduces some of the uh, jelly effect that we don't like. And it can also look a bit unnatural to our eye. So what we're going to do is to change the camera settings to change the so-called film speed to 100 rather than automatic. Now, what we're really aiming at is then a shutter speed of approximately twice that, so somewhere around 200. Uh, and that should give us a much more natural look and hopefully make the whole image better. Now, being an old so-and-so, I, from the good old days of real photography, have one of these nice light meters. You can get apps for mobile phones, it'll do a similar thing. Now, when I press the button, uh, the light meter gave me a reading of 13. You can see that I've uh, dialed that in against the, uh, the arrow there. You can also see that I've got the ISO film speed set to 100 on that little inner dial. Uh, all good old fashioned mechanical stuff here. Now, I know that the shutter, rather, so the aperture on the camera is 2.8. And you'll see 2.8 at the bottom of the dial there on the outside of the dial and that's lining up with the 1m which actually stands for a thousandth of a second now what we're looking for is something as we said around 200 now the closest we've got on here is 250. so we'll go with the 250 for the sake of argument uh, now you can see that 250 uh, is two large steps away from the 1000th and that's two stops in photographic terms which means we need the second neutral density filter which uh, is the ND464 ND4 clear as mud I thought so good let's do some tests So this first shot here, this is the camera with all its automatic settings on. Uh, we've got uh, automatic film speed, automatic uh, white balance. And now I've put a filter on, you can see a bit of vignette but I'm not worried about at the moment. I've set the camera to film speed of 100 and the white balance to daylight and there's a neutral density 4 filter fitted. I think you can already see the difference here, the exposure stays more constant as we go around. Uh, the colours are more natural as well. So here they are side by side so you can really see the difference. Obviously we've got no filter on the left and with the filter on the right. Next thing to look at is with the drone actually flying. So here we are, the camera is fully automatic again at the beginning here. This uh, rippled sand is particularly good at showing up horrible uh, jelliness and sort of phasing of the image. <clears throat> yeah, still a nice picture though, but uh, as I said, this is the camera on fully automatic. As it flies back towards me there, you can really see the sand patterns phasing quite nastily. This is the drone flying uh, and I've manually set the camera to a fixed uh, film speed and I've put a slightly higher neutral density filter on there because the lights actually improved from before and you should be able to see as it's flying around not getting the changes of balance, colour balance as much. Uh, and now just as a final experiment here is the video or some video with a nice letterbox around it some reason makes it look more arty and filmy. 